Some gardens in the south suburbs become instruments in education, and today the community shares in the harvest as well as affirms some young gardeners. A planned outdoor farmer's market moved indoors with the rain earlier today in Chicago Heights. No problem. The students at the Barack Obama School of Leadership in STEM learn to adapt in the school's horticulture program. This is actually my favorite class, so every day I go home, I tell my sister everything about horticulture. She'd be like, what is horticulture? I'd be like, you don't have that at your school, she says no. What started as an after-school activity is now among the curriculum options with five gardens. I'm trying new fruits. I tried recipes like um, cucumbers and tahini. Oh, I'm telling you that was good. I tried, I tried um, celery um, that was fresh out the garden. On two, um, it was just, it's just so awesome. On Wednesdays, they host a farmer's market. The students planted the seeds in the spring, they harvested the produce, and they learned how to market their goods. They are learning how to do like a cost analysis, like what are the grocery stores charging for cucumbers and what can we charge that builds their leadership capacity. And we are about building leaders. Darius Thomas is a parent and market supporter. He says the gardens are also teaching invaluable lifelong lessons. Sometimes you don't see the fruits of your labor right away. You know, so learn how to have that patience and how to just believe that you're going to be able to see the results from the work that you put in. The students also learn about the reality of produce deserts around them. So in addition to the market, they give some of their harvest to neighbors in need. It's really exciting and amazing what we've been doing because I never thought I'd be this successful and look at it. Their market will be open next Wednesday as well from 1030 to 1130. They do hope to extend market days and eventually expand their gardens. So stay tuned. In Chicago Heights, Leah Hope, ABC 7 Eyewitness News.